This is a patient who comes in with abdominal pain. We had a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis. As we scroll downwards, we immediately see that there's a low density mass in the liver. So that may well represent a neoplasm. It could also be an abscess, but there's not a lot of an inflammatory change. And so we certainly should be worried about an underlying uh, metastatic lesion at the very least or a primary malignancy. But let's have a look elsewhere in the abdomen and pelvis. We can see uh, more inferiorly within the mesentery, there's this large sort of lobulated mass, very heterogeneous within the mesentery, the right lower quadrant over there. Even lower to that, there's a smaller mass. And with this mass, we can see that there's a few flecks of calcium at the periphery of it. And so just looking at those nodal masses, one would need to worry worried about carcinoid tumor nodal metastases, especially given the calcification associated with the smaller one. And certainly carcinoid can go to the liver, so this may well represent a carcinoid metastasis. Now, a lot of these carcinoids in the small bowel are going to arise from the ileum, and so it's important to look at the ileum to see if we can find the primary neoplasm. And in this instance, it's subtle, but it's right there. We can see that there's this nodular mass within that terminal ileum portion of the ileum, and that's going to be the primary site of disease in this patient who had a uh, path-proven carcinoid tumor.